hello everybody welcome back to code arena and today we're gonna make this code static design with html and css so basically i'm making this kind of videos for your improvement in html and css and your practice because practice makes perfect so uh, this is the code so let's get started okay so i'm ready with the folder code and we are having two files index.html and styles.css so first i will make the boilerplate with html and inside it i will give the title to code and now we will link to styles.css okay let's save this and let's go live okay now we will make a div rectangle and inside this div we will write our code so let's do h1 and i have one code so this is my favorite code and let's save this okay we get it now we will go to styles.css and firstly we will target the body and we will set the background to linear gradient firstly i would like to write to left bottom so all the gradient would come from the left bottom or you can write to right bottom also and then we will go with plum then we will go with this till and lastly we will go with white let's save this okay we are having the separation now we will set the min height which is the minimum height so we could have a proper gradient okay we are having this so so here i have done minimum height 200 weight okay now we will target our rectangle and after that inside it first i will set the width for let's say 70 percent and after that i will set the height for let's say 200 pixels and the background color of it would be black okay and now we will set the border radius 15 pixels nice okay now let's make the rectangle in center so first i will do margin top to let's say 150 pixels nice now from the margin left we will do let's say margin left for 300 pixels okay nice it looks nice i think we should decrease some main height to let's say 80 vh okay now it's nice okay now we will target the h1 and inside this first we will set the color to let's say pink or we can just change it a little bit okay let's say this one let's save this nice now we need to change the font family so first we will go with google fonts let's click to the first link okay now let's click to the fonts i have one font okay guys i have one font so if you want to change that font you can just go with your choice okay so i've already selected it and let's say let's copy the link and we will paste it in our head section and now we will copy the CSS link and we will paste it in our H1 tag. Let's save this and see the result. Okay, we are having perfect. Now we will go with the width, let's say 80% 80, 80 or we can have 90%. Okay, now it's looking nice. And uh, now inside this rectangle, I will do display flex justify content would be also center so basically display flex means it will be in a row and justify content would be like it will be in center like this see now it's center here but when i will do align items in center then it will be centered in the middle of the rectangle okay let's do align items would be also center let's save this okay i think that we should decrease some height so that it could be in a level so let's say 180 pixels let's try this okay good 
now from the margin left i think we should also decrease some 200 pixels let's save this okay it's looking nice now we will do box shadow which is the main thing for the attraction for you know it really looks good when we do box shadow so first we will do 10 pixels for the x axis 10 pixels for the y axis and 20 pixels for the blur and we will do black color okay so it would be in a level and look at this how beautiful it is it's like 3d images okay then we are perfectly done with our project and congratulations if you make it share your achievement on twitter and my twitter account is in description if you like it share it with your friends and thanks for watching